It's early October 2014 at Krohn's Steinecker plant in Freising. Georg Wendel is the firm's project manager for breweries. He is specialized in the design and dimensioning of tanks, which breweries need to store their products and allow them to mature properly. Georg Wendel's projects are always one-offs, but this time it's something authentically special. The client, Augustina Broy Wagner KG, renowned as the most traditional brewery in Munich. The project, a turnkey order for 17 horizontal storage tanks, which have to be installed in a steel frame construction. This is quite unusual, because normally the tanks in a brewery are vertical, but not at Augustina. This is a traditional style brewery that rigorously insists on authentically horizontal tanks. There's also a beneficial side effect, a lower pressure level, which is gentler on the yeast. And why the upsizing? Because Augustina wants to increase the capacity available for maturing its beers by another 46,000 hectoliters. Also Augustina Due to the local space constraints, Augustina divided up the construction work for the new storage cellar into three sections. In the south building there are six tanks, in the centre building eight tanks, and in the north building three tanks. In the north and south buildings the configuration is three tanks, one on top of the other and in the middle building, two tanks, one on top of the other. All 17 tanks are suspended on straps in a steel construction. In all, we're assembling more than 250 tonnes of steel components. Krohn's is also coordinating delivery and erection of the steel, which is being handled by a partner company. The steel frame itself is entirely self-supporting. The outer facades were attached to the steel construction. No separate facade is required. In all stages of the construction work, the steel frame constitutes the support structure for the subsequent roof. Here we produce what are called pillow plates, and these are something rather special. They're incorporated in the storage tanks for Augustina as well. Since the beginning of 2014, Crown's Steinecker plant in Freising has possessed a new laser welding system. This enables us to manufacture cooling plates that assure the cooling rates stipulated by Augustina. In this process, two plates are positioned on top of each other and welded together. The cavity between these two plates is pressurized with water, so that later on in the brewery, the glycol coolant can be connected and the required amount of thermal energy removed. Augustina stipulated a cooling rate from plus six degrees to minus one degree in 72 hours. Besides producing the tanks, Krohn's is also responsible for transporting, ingressing and installing them. Georg Wendel discusses the relevant preparations and details with his colleague Gunter Bischoff. He's responsible for manufacturing the tanks and will be coordinating all the work sequences on site. The total of 17 tanks will be ingressed in three separate consignments. Five tanks have already been successfully accommodated and will now be followed by the remaining 12, with deliveries scheduled for two weekends in November. It's the beginning of November. The second consignment of horizontal storage tanks for Augustina comes into sight. The convoy is only a few kilometers away from its destination, a brief stopover at a parking area to the west of Munich. This evening, the journey resumes into the city center at Landsberger Strasse.